This is Honors Geometry Lesson 10.2, Arc Measures. First thing we're going to talk about is called a central angle. A central angle is formed by two radii where the vertex of the angle is the center of the circle. That central angle forms what we call an arc. An arc is a continuous part of the circle and it starts at A and ends at B. We call those two points the end point of the arc. And the way you name an arc is by its endpoints. So if we were talking about this arc right here, we would call that arc A, B, and the symbol for an arc is just an arc above the endpoints. If you have half of a circle, of course we call that a semicircle. So a semicircle is an arc with the endpoints on the diameter. A minor arc is less than half of the circle, so our arc AB was our minor arc, and then a major arc is an arc whose length is greater than half of the circle, greater than the semicircle. So you're probably wondering, how do we know the difference between if I say AB, if I'm going this way or if I'm going this way? When you have a major arc, you need to throw a third point in there. So I'm just going to put a point here and call it C. So if you see arc AB, you immediately know it's a minor arc. It's less than half of a circle. If I wanted you to go the long way around, I would have to say start at A, go through C, and stop when you get to B. And again, you put the arc above it. You would read that arc ACB. When you're talking about the measure of an arc, we put a little M in front of it, like this. Oops. So you would read that the measure of arc AB. And arcs are measured in degrees. And so the measure of an arc is equal to its central angle. So if we go back here, if this arc is 100, this angle is 120 degrees, we would say that the measure of arc AB is equal to 120 degrees. And then we would say the measure of arc ACB would be 240. You take the 360, we all know a whole circle is 360 degrees. So if you take 360 minus the minor arc, you get your major arc. So we would say the measure of arc ACB is 240 degrees. Okay, And that's what we're talking about here. So they're showing you the measure of arc BC is 74 degrees. And then we would take 360 minus 74, and we would know the measure of the major arc B. DC is 286 degrees. Of course, a semicircle is 180 degrees. All right, let's practice. First of all, they tell you that AC and BE are diameters. You shouldn't assume that two radii are diameters. They should have to tell you that. So just so we can see that, I'm going to go ahead and label it. So they're telling us this is a diameter and this is a diameter. How does that help us? We know a semicircle is 180. So I'm just going to find all the missing pieces and then we'll answer their questions. So I'm going to take 180 minus the 45 minus the 70. That's 115. So we know that this missing piece here is 65. We see we have vertical angles. That still applies. So if I add the 45 and the 65, that's 110. So I know that this angle is also 110. I can carry the 70 over here. They're also vertical angles. Okay, now we filled in all their pieces. Now we're going to answer their question. We're looking for arc BC. It's two letters, so we know it's the minor arc. So that's going to be 70 degrees. We're looking for DC. That's 65. We're looking for BD. Start at B or D. Stop when you get to B. So it's this piece right here. We're going to add those together, 135. Let me just jump to some of the major arcs. Number 8 asks us to start at A, go through B, stop when we get to C. So you can see that's a semicircle, and we're going clockwise. So we're going to add these together and of course that's 180. How about ACD? 
start at A, go through C, stop when you get to D. That's this one. So we're going to add the 180 plus another 65, so that looks like 245. All right, let's try a couple more. Skip this for now. Okay, here we go. Again, they're telling us EB is the diameter, so we can assume that's 180. So I'm going to take 180 minus 60. That's going to tell us that this piece is 20 degrees. So they're asking us to find the measure of arc DB, DF. We know it's a minor arc because it's only two letters. So I start at D and I go to F, the short way, not the long way. Um, so it looks like we know that... We'd have 180 here, we would have 180 here. This is 90 and 52, so I'm going to take 90 plus 52. I'm going to take 180 minus the 142 we got. So we got 38, so I know this missing little piece here is 38. So in order to get the measure of arc DF, I'm going to take 120 plus 38. So that looks like it's going to be 158 degrees. All right, here we go again. So I know this is a semicircle because they're telling us this is the diameter. So I'm going to take 180 minus the 82. Looks like we have 98 left over. I'm going to split it in half because they're telling us that these two angles are congruent. So that's what, 45 plus 3, you know, 46, is that right? Nope, nope, 49. Let's try 49, 18. Yeah, that's right. So each of these are 49. And now let's answer their question. The question is the measure of arc CF. Start at C and go to F. So it looks like I'm going to need this little piece here too. Let's find that. So again, if this is the diameter, this is 90, that's 74. Let's find that out. 90, 74, that's 164. 180 minus 164. It looks like that's going to be, is that 16? So we're going to put a 16 here. Now we're going to add these pieces together. You can see this is 82. And again, the rule is whatever the arc is, the angle is. So that's also 82. So I'm going to add 49, 82, 16 together, and we'll have our answer. That's 11, 17. 9, 13, 14, so it looks like it's going to be 147 degrees. All right, last thing real quick, we're going to throw a little algebra in. All right, so we're not given any diameters, um, but we do know that these two are congruent, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this 2x minus 19 here. We know a whole circle is 360. That looks like what we're going to have to use. So I'm going to add these all together and set them equal to 360. So I'm just going to combine my like terms. 2x plus 2x plus 3x, that's going to give me 7x. Then I'm going to take 4 and 65, that's 69, minus 19, minus 19. Let me grab a calculator and do that. So I have 65 plus 4 minus 19, minus 19, and that looks like that's positive 31. And again, I know this whole circle is 360, so I'm going to set that equal to 360, subtract 31. Looks like 7x equals 329, and let's see, divide by 7, and it looks like x is going to be 47. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, this time they're telling us these two are congruent, so I'm going to go ahead and carry this 5x plus 10 up here. This is a 90 degree angle. That means the arc is also going to be 90 degrees. And we could either take 360 and add these all up, or we could take 360 minus this and then divide by 2. Just for something different, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 360 minus that 90, so it looks like these two together are 270. They're telling us they're congruent, so I'm going to divide by 2. 270. Divide by 2. Looks like each of these are 135. 
So I'm going to go ahead and say that 5x plus 10 equals 135. Subtract 10 from each side. That looks like it equals 125. And 125 divided by 5. And it looks like our answer is 25. All right, please try the practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.